The scene set once again for the season finale at the famous Monza Circuit near Milan. 16 stages split between the circuit and mountain roads in the foothills of the Italian Alps. 253 kilometers against the clock, shakedown at the track on Thursday evening. Friday's opening leg ventures into the mountains for a double loop of stages near Lake Como. The fearsome Costa Valle Magna, 22 kilometers, stages two and four, fast, technical, a twisty climb before dropping back down and then back to Monza for the afternoon. The final Grand Prix stage run in darkness. Hyundai's Thierry Neville failed to make it to the end of the opening day last year. He's intending to spoil Toyota's party this time. The only thing uh, important for us over there is going to fight for victory and nothing else. Um, I know Monza quite well. I made a stupid mistake last year, um, which we're going to avoid this year. Saturday, a similar format, a double pass through San Fermo and Silvino in the morning. The weather likely to be a factor with the chance of icy roads at altitude. Two stages back at the circuit in the afternoon. Second Soto Zero test, stage 13, is in darkness. M Sports Gus Greensmith, another to come unstuck last year in the mountain stages. I genuinely really thought they were fantastic. That corner over the crest where I sent it into the barriers and off into the woods, I probably remember that there might be a bit of snow there if it's, uh, if it's raining this time, but uh, yeah, it's a good, enjoyable rally. Back to Monza for Sunday's final day of the rally and the 2021 season, starting with a second run through the Grand Prix stage, asphalt all the way, then two passes through the 15 kilometers of Seraglio. Lots of surface changes. The second pass is the power stage, by the end of which we shall know the outcome of the 2021 WRC Championships. Watch WRC Plus on all devices. WRC Plus, all live.